The sun has not yet kissed the horizon. The world is still, and there's a quiet that envelops everything. It's at this moment, this very second, that champions are made. Not in the glaring light of day, but in the serene embrace of the dawn. This is where our journey begins, with a simple yet profound decision to wake up and grind. You see, life, in its infinite complexity, offers us a canvas, but it hands us the brush only when we decide to take it. Every stroke, every color we choose, starts with the resolve to get up and paint our masterpiece. It's about embracing the moment when the alarm clock sounds, not as a siren of annoyance, but as a trumpet call to greatness. This isn't about just moving through the motions. It's about seizing the day with a purpose that burns so fiercely within us, guiding every action, every decision. But what drives a person to leap out of bed, ready to tackle the challenges that awake? It's vision, a clear, compelling vision of who they want to be, what they wish to achieve. Picture yourself five, ten years from now. What do you see? Is it a reflection filled with achievements, growth, and fulfillment? Or is it clouded by what could have been? The difference lies in what we do in those early hours when the world is yet to awaken. Let me share a secret with you, one that successful people around the globe have whispered for generations. The grind, the relentless pursuit of excellence, starts with a single decision to make the most of each day. It's a commitment not just to be better than we were yesterday, but to pave a path toward a future we've always dreamed of. This isn't about chasing the fleeting shadows of success. It's about building a legacy brick by brick with our sweat, our resilience, and our unwavering determination. Now, I want you to pause for a moment and ask yourself, what am I willing to do today to draw one step closer to my dreams? It's a simple question, yet it holds the power to transform your life. It's not about monumental leaps, but the small, consistent steps we take every day. And it begins now, in this moment, with the courage to push beyond our limits, to challenge the status quo, and to carve out our destiny with the choices we make. Remember, the road to greatness is paved with challenges, setbacks, and moments of doubt. But it's also lined with victories, learning, and growth. It requires a heart that's brave enough to start and strong enough to persevere, a mind that's sharp and eager to learn, and a spirit that's resilient, ready to rise time and time again. So, let this morning be different. Let it be the start of something extraordinary, where you decide to wake up and grind, to step into the arena of your dreams armed with nothing but your passion, your vision, and your unwavering commitment to excellence. Today is your day to shine, to show the world the strength of your resolve and the depth of your desire to achieve greatness. The brilliance of a new day offers more than just light. It provides clarity, illuminating the vast landscape of possibilities that lie ahead of us. This clarity isn't just about seeing, it's about envisioning, about crafting a vision so vivid, so compelling, it propels us forward with an unstoppable momentum. It's here, in the quiet dawn of possibility, where defining your vision becomes not just a task, but a mission. Imagine standing at the edge of a forest, the path before you veiled in mist. Each path represents a choice, a direction your life could take. Now, picture the sun's rays piercing through the fog revealing the golden path that leads you to your dreams. This is the power of a clear vision. It dispels doubt, lights up your path, and guides your steps with purpose and intention. Your vision, my friends, is more than a dream. It's a beacon that guides you through the stormiest seas, the compass when you find yourself lost in the wilderness of life. But how, you might ask, do we forge this vision? It starts with the courage to ask yourself not just what you want, but who you want to be. It's about looking beyond the horizon, beyond the immediate gratifications, to what truly sets your soul on fire. Crafting your vision is akin to painting on the canvas of tomorrow. Each brush stroke represents your hopes, your values, your aspirations. Begin with broad strokes, outlining the grand picture of your life. Where are you? Who's by your side? What fills your days? Don't just scratch the surface, dive deep. Peel back the layers of your heart and soul and discover the dreams that lie dormant waiting for your courage to awaken them. Now, refine your vision. Add color, depth, and detail. If you see yourself as a leader, what kind? If you envision a life of adventure, where does it take you? This isn't about vague wishes. It's about crystal clear, vibrant visions that stir your heart every time you close your eyes. Write them down, not as fleeting thoughts, but as declarations of your future. This act alone moves them from the ethereal realm of imagination into the tangible world of possibility. 
A vision without action is like a star without light, beautiful but distant and cold. Herein lies our challenge and our promise, to breathe life into our vision every day. It means waking up with determination, going to bed with satisfaction, and filling every moment in between with the relentless pursuit of that golden path we've envisioned. It's a commitment to turn every obstacle into a stepping stone, every setback into a lesson, and every success into a milestone. Remember, the fabric of your vision will be tested. You'll face doubts, fears, and countless trials. But it's in these moments, when the path seems darkest, that your vision shines brightest. Hold it close, like a torch in the night, guiding you step by step towards the dawn of your fulfillment. And so, as we embrace the grind, do so with a vision that burns so brightly it cannot be ignored. A vision that doesn't just call to you but roars with the force of your entire being behind it. This is the start, a journey not just towards achieving goals but towards living a life of purpose and passion. A journey that we embark on not just with the dream of what we'll achieve, but with a clearer vision of who we'll become in the process. Our next step takes us into the heart of transforming our vision into reality. Imagine for a moment that each goal you set is like a lighthouse, guiding you through the fog towards your destined shore. The power of goal setting is not just in defining what we aim to achieve, but in illuminating the path that leads us there. It's about turning the intangible into the tangible, the dream into the achievable. Explore how setting precise, actionable goals can be the bridge between where you are now and where you want to be. Consider the story of a young artist, passionate and driven yet adrift in the vast sea of creativity without direction. It was not until she learned to set clear goals for her art, specific exhibitions to participate in, a number of paintings to complete, a style to master, that her path became clear. With each goal she set and met, she not only moved closer to her vision but also built the confidence and skills necessary for her journey. This is the essence of goal setting. It's not merely about achieving outcomes but about who we become in the process. Setting goals is akin to planting seeds in a garden. Each seed represents a goal, a future achievement that lies dormant, awaiting our effort and care to grow. But it is not enough to simply scatter these seeds to the wind. They must be planted with intention, watered with action, and nurtured with persistence. As with gardening, the fruits of our labor and goal setting are not immediate. They require time, dedication, and the resilience to face the challenges that arise. Yet the harvest they yield is abundance. It brings us closer to our vision, enriches our lives, and empowers us to reach further than we ever thought possible. But how do we set goals that truly matter, that resonate with our deepest aspirations? It begins with reflection, with turning inward to understand what ignites our passion and drives us forward. From this place of clarity, we set goals that are specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. These are not just words. They are the framework that transforms vague wishes into clear, actionable objectives. They compel us to move, to act, and to persevere, even when the path ahead is steep. Now, imagine setting a goal so compelling that it pulls you forward, that the thought of achieving it fills you with an irrepressible energy. This is the power of setting meaningful goals. They act as beacons of light in the darkness, guiding us, inspiring us, and pushing us beyond our perceived limits. And with each goal we achieve, we not only move closer to our ultimate vision, but also build a ladder of successes upon which we can climb to heights we once thought unreachable. Yet setting goals is only the beginning. The true challenge lies in the pursuit, in the grind, in the daily commitment to turn our goals into reality. It's in the quiet hours of the morning, in the sacrifices we make, and in the unwavering belief in our ability to achieve what we've set out to do. This commitment, this relentless pursuit, is what separates those who dream from those who achieve. As we delve deeper into the art of goal setting, carry forward the lessons we've learned. Remember that our goals are not just destinations but stepping stones in our journey of growth and self-discovery. They are the milestones that mark our progress, the challenges that test our resolve, and the victories that celebrate our perseverance. And so, as we set our sights on the horizon, do so with a heart full of ambition and a mind focused on our goals. Embrace the challenges, learn from the setbacks, and celebrate each step forward, no matter how small. For it is in the pursuit of our goals that we truly find ourselves, that we uncover the strength, the courage, and the determination to achieve our highest aspirations. Emboldened by our vision and guided by our goals, we come face to face with the very essence of achievement. 
It's in this space where effort meets perseverance that our dreams begin to take shape, morphing from the intangible into milestones of our persistence. Embracing the grind isn't merely a part of the journey. It's the heartbeat of success, the rhythm to which all great achievers march. It's where work ethic and persistence become not just virtues but the very fuel that propels us forward. Think of the grind as the potter's wheel, and you the clay being shaped and molded by every turn, every pressure applied, every moment spent in the pursuit of mastery. It's a process, sometimes arduous, often demanding, but always transformative. It's about falling in love with the process, with the daily discipline of honing your craft, sharpening your skills, and pushing beyond the boundaries of yesterday's achievements. In this endeavor, our work ethic is our compass, guiding us through the fog of discouragement, the storms of failure, and the calm of routine. It's what gets us up before dawn, ready to tackle the day with zeal, to dive headfirst into our challenges with an unwavering resolve. A strong work ethic doesn't waver in the face of adversity. Instead, it looks adversity in the eye and sees an opportunity to grow, to learn, and to emerge stronger. Persistence, on the other hand, is our anchor, keeping us steadfast in our pursuit, reminding us that the journey to greatness is a marathon, not a sprint. It whispers in our ears during moments of doubt, urging us to take one more step, to try one more time, to persevere through the setbacks and the disappointments. Persistence is the quiet strength that fuels our resilience, enabling us to rise time and again from the ashes of our failures, clothed in the wisdom of our experiences. Imagine now a bridge spanning the chasm between where you are and where you want to be. This bridge is built on the pillars of work ethic and persistence, constructed by your daily efforts, your sacrifices, and your unwavering dedication to your goals. Crossing this bridge requires more than just desire. It demands action, relentless, focused action driven by a deep-seated belief in the inevitability of your success. But make no mistake, the grind is not a solitary journey, a lone battle against the odds. Along this path, we're surrounded by fellow travelers, each with their dreams, their struggles, and their triumphs. It's in this community of dreamers and doers that we find inspiration, support, and the shared wisdom of collective experience. Here, we learn the value of mentorship, of lifting each other up, and of the power of collaboration in turning our individual dreams into a collective reality. As we embrace the grind, do so with a sense of purpose, with the knowledge that every effort, no matter how small, brings us closer to our vision. Celebrate not just the milestones, but the effort it takes to reach them, the early mornings, the late nights, the sacrifices, and the unwavering dedication to our craft. For it's in these moments, in the heat of the grind, that our character is forged, our resilience is tested, and our true potential is revealed. In this relentless pursuit of excellence, also be mindful of the journey itself, of the lessons learned, the friendships forged, and the person we become along the way. Find joy in the process, in the daily act of striving for greatness, and in the knowledge that we are not just chasing dreams but living them, one day, one step, one relentless effort at a time. Woven with threads of determination, resilience, and the ceaseless pursuit of excellence, there emerges a golden thread, one that adds strength, vibrancy, and depth to our endeavors. This thread is continuous learning and growth, an indispensable aspect of our voyage towards realizing our fullest potential. It's in this commitment to never stop learning, to embrace growth as our constant companion, that we unlock the doors to realms of possibility previously unimagined. Consider for a moment the story of the ancient mariners, setting sail into uncharted waters driven by a thirst for discovery. Guided by the stars and learning from the sea, their journey was not just about reaching new lands but about the transformation that occurred within them as they faced the unknown, adapted to the challenges, and expanded their understanding of the world. Like these intrepid explorers, we too must set sail on a voyage of intellectual and personal discovery, charting our course through the vast oceans of knowledge, skills, and experiences available to us. This commitment to continuous learning and growth is not merely an academic exercise. It's a way of life, a mindset that sees every experience, every challenge, and every interaction as an opportunity to learn, to improve, and to evolve. It's about cultivating a curiosity that knows no bounds, a hunger for knowledge that is never satiated, and a resilience that grows with each passing day. In this age of information, where knowledge is more accessible than ever before, the challenge is not in finding resources but in choosing where to focus our efforts. It's about discerning which skills are most relevant, 
which knowledge is most transformative, and which experiences will propel us forward on our journey. This discernment is the compass that guides our learning, ensuring that we invest our time and energy in ways that are aligned with our vision, our goals, and our deepest values. As we embark on this path of continuous learning and growth, do so with intention and purpose. Be strategic in your learning, seeking out mentors who can guide you, communities that can support you, and challenges that can stretch you. Utilize the vast array of books, courses, seminars, and technologies available to you, using them as tools to carve out your unique path to greatness. But also remember that learning is not just about acquisition but about application. It's about translating knowledge into action, theories into practice, and it's in the doing that learning becomes real, that growth occurs, and that we begin to see the tangible fruits of our labor. This is where true mastery lies, not just in knowing but in being and doing. In this journey of continuous learning and growth, also embrace the role of teaching, sharing your knowledge and insights with others. For in teaching, we reinforce our own learning, we solidify our understanding, and we contribute to the growth of those around us. It's in this exchange of knowledge, this cycle of learning and teaching, that we all rise together, elevating not just ourselves but our communities, our societies, and ultimately our world. As we forge ahead, carry with you the lessons of the past, the learnings of the present, and the promise of the future. Approach each day with a learner's heart, a seeker's mind, and a doer's hands, ready to absorb, to apply, and to adapt. For it's in this continuous cycle of learning and growth that we not only achieve our goals but surpass them, not only fulfill our potential but expand it, and not only live our dreams but exceed them. As we stand at the juncture between aspiration and realization, between dreaming and achieving, it's imperative to recognize that the journey we've embarked upon is not for the faint-hearted. It's a path laden with challenges, yet it's also strewn with opportunities for growth, learning, and unparalleled success. The essence of making it happen, of transforming our dreams into reality, is encapsulated in the relentless pursuit of our vision. Armed with a solid work ethic, an insatiable desire for continuous learning, and an unwavering commitment to our goals, envision yourself as a sculptor, with your life as the marble block. Each day presents an opportunity to chisel away at the superficial layers, to refine and define, to reveal the masterpiece within. It's a process that demands patience, persistence, and precision. The tools of goal setting, embracing the grind, and continuous learning are your chisels, shaping your path to greatness. But remember, the sculpture's true power lies not in the tools but in the vision, the unwavering resolve to see the sculpture not for the block of marble it is but for the masterpiece it will become. Making it happen is about more than just action, it's about intentional action. It's about aligning your daily tasks with your deepest values and highest aspirations, recognizing that every choice you make, Every effort you exert is a brushstroke on the canvas of your life, contributing to the grand picture of your destiny. This requires not just hard work but smart work, strategically leveraging your strengths, continually adapting to feedback, and staying the course despite the tempest that may seek to veer you off your path. In this journey, do not underestimate the power of small steps. The mightiest mountains are climbed one step at a time, and the most daunting goals are achieved one task at a time. It's the accumulation of these small, seemingly insignificant actions that leads to monumental achievements. Therefore, pledge to take at least one step every day toward your dreams, no matter how small. For it's in these steps that the path to greatness is paved. Embrace the moments of failure, not as detours on your journey but as integral parts of the map. Each setback, each obstacle, each failure is replete with lessons that guide you, that make you wiser, stronger, and more resilient. They remind you that the path to success is not a straight line but a winding road filled with lessons to be learned and victories to be earned. Making it happen, turning your dreams into reality, is an art and a science, a symphony of disciplined action, relentless perseverance, and continuous adaptation. It's a dance between dreaming and doing, between learning and applying. Carry with you the lessons you've learned, the insights you've gained, and the resolve you've strengthened. Step into the arena of your dreams with confidence, armed with the knowledge that you possess everything you need within you to make it happen. Let this be not just the end of a discourse but the beginning of a journey, a journey of transformation, achievement, and legacy. Make it happen, not someday, but today and every day henceforth, as you craft your life into the masterpieces they are meant to be. There are two fundamental worldviews, each positioned at opposite ends of the spectrum. 
The first worldview is benevolent. Individuals who embrace this perspective hold a positive mental attitude toward themselves and their lives. They believe in their ability to make a positive contribution to the world. And individuals with a benevolent worldview are the movers, the ones who strive to accomplish substantial things in their lives and individuals with a benevolent worldview are the movers and shakers, the ones who actively shape and influence events. Conversely, those with a malevolent worldview harbor eight negative mental attitudes. And they initially harbor a negative mental attitude towards themselves, often experiencing anger and low self-esteem. A malevolent worldview tends to externalize blame and criticism onto others or external factors. Consequently, individuals with a malevolent worldview frequently find themselves in opposition or conflict with those who hold a benevolent worldview. It's crucial to recognize that the most significant, productive, and creative individuals typically embrace a benevolent and constructive worldview. Striving towards such a perspective should be our goal. The key to effective living is not in attempting to fix or correct external circumstances or people, but rather in perceiving them accurately. The principle is grounded in understanding ourselves in our own perspectives. It's not the external world that consumes our attention, but rather our interpretation of it. For the average person, thinking is a reflexive process. Events occur, and we react in thought. Life becomes a continuous response to external stimuli, shaping our emotions and perceptions. However, experiences themselves don't generate thoughts, rather, it's our attitudes, feelings, and habitual thought patterns that dictate our mental reactions. Consider a situation where someone provokes anger in you. It's not the person's actions that directly cause your anger, but rather your own predisposition towards anger. This illustrates our power to control the thoughts that dominate our minds. The first step in mastering this process, what we call the art of thinking, is recognizing that regardless of external circumstances, we always have the power to choose our thoughts. We can opt for positivity and creativity even in challenging situations. While external factors may affect us, ultimately, our responses are within our control. This realization empowers us to navigate through difficult circumstances with consistency and resilience. Viktor Frankl observed that our freedom lies in our ability to choose our response to stimuli. By exercising control over our thoughts and responses, we gradually shape our reality and influence the world around us. It's crucial not to let external factors beyond our control overshadow the things we can influence. While we may encounter hurtful actions from others, it's our chosen reactions to these actions that truly impact us. Imagine our concerns as two circles. The larger outer circle represents the things we're concerned about while the smaller inner circle comprises the concerns we have influence over. Proactive individuals focus their efforts on the inner circle, where they can make a tangible difference, rather than expending energy on external worries. By prioritizing our inner circle, we expand our sphere of influence and foster a positive impact on our lives and the world around us. The energy within the inner circle is positive, empowering individuals to master their minds rather than succumb to external influences. Taking control of our minds is no easy feat. Transitioning from reflexive thinking to creative thinking demands discipline, willpower, and commitment, especially considering our long-standing habits. However, it's an achievable goal. This shift is pivotal for fostering a positive life and cultivating a mindset of optimism. Optimism emerges as the most crucial quality for predicting success and happiness in life. Studies reveal that successful individuals possess exceptionally high levels of optimism, remaining positive despite encountering numerous challenges. Their optimism propels them to try new things persistently, driven by an unwavering belief in their eventual success. Optimists exhibit distinct orientations towards the future, constantly envisioning possibilities and idealizing various aspects of life. They prioritize great health, aiming for physical well-being and high energy levels. Additionally, they aspire to cultivate loving relationships, seeking happiness and fulfillment in their interactions with family, friends, and colleagues. By nurturing these optimistic orientations, individuals pave the way for a brighter, more fulfilling future. The third essential aspect that we all desire is to engage in meaningful work and excel at it. It's crucial for us to perform our tasks effectively because research has shown that our level of self-esteem greatly influences our optimism. Individuals with high self-esteem tend to set ambitious goals for themselves. 
The starting point for achieving these dreams is to visualize an ideal future. Imagine your life is perfect in five years, with ideal health, family, work, and financial stability. Clarity is paramount in achieving success. You cannot hit a target that you cannot see. Therefore, it's essential to be absolutely clear about your objectives. If you had the power to achieve anything, what three wishes would you have? Health, happiness, financial independence? If you can dream it, articulate it, and write it down, then you can achieve it. Seek guidance from those who have accomplished what you aspire to. Set clear, written goals for yourself and revisit them regularly. Writing down your goals takes just a few minutes but can yield incredible results. People often find that many of their goals are accomplished within a year, leading to transformative changes in their lives. If all you'll do from this day forward is to write down 10 goals and then instead of stashing them away for a year, simply review them regularly, you'll be amazed at the results. Writing down a goal actually programs it into your subconscious mind. Even if your conscious mind doesn't recall the list, your subconscious mind retains it. I've shared this exercise worldwide, and I've never had anyone say it didn't work. The feedback is consistently positive. People find the results to be incredible and life-changing. Now, the third orientation is the excellence orientation. To achieve something you've never accomplished before, you must develop skills you've never had before. I learned that everyone in the top 10% started in the bottom 10%. Everyone who is doing well now was once doing poorly. Everyone at the front of the buffet line of life was once at the back. If you weren't in your field initially, you can get there through determination. Those who have no apparent advantages succeed because they refuse to quit. This revelation changed my life at 24. If you make a decision to reach the top 10% and stick with it, you will get there. The only reason people don't reach the top 10% is that they don't decide to, or if they decide, they don't start or they quit. Optimists believe they can be in the top 10%, and they persist without quitting. Luck is self-made. It's about deciding where you're going and getting on the road. To reach the top 10%, we must become exceptionally skilled in our field. There are no shortcuts, we must put in the work. Make a clear decision, set goals to achieve the ideal future, and determine the necessary skills. Now, the fourth orientation is growth orientation. It's crucial for future success. First, read regularly. Reading is to the mind as exercise is to the body. Aim for 30 to 60 minutes of reading five days a week. Second, attend seminars whenever possible. Investing in yourself pays dividends in confidence, determination, and competence. The more you invest in yourself, the more you believe in yourself. Leaders think about the future and what they want to accomplish, as well as where they want to arrive sometime down the road. They envision their goals and consider what can be done to achieve them. The good news is that when you begin to think about your future as well, you begin to think like a leader, and you will soon get the same results that leaders get. Dr. Edward Banfield of Harvard concluded after more than 50 years of research that long-time perspective was the most important determinant of financial and personal success in life. Banfield defined long-time perspective as the ability to think several years into the future while making decisions in the present. This is one of the most important discoveries ever made. Just think, the further you think into the future, the better decisions you will make in the present to ensure that that future becomes a reality. For example, if you save $100 per month from the age of 20 to the age of 65 and invest that money in a mutual fund earning an average of 10% per annum, over time you would be worth more than $1,118,000 when you retire. Anyone who really wanted to could save $100 per month if he or she had a long enough time perspective. What this means is that every single person starting work today can become a millionaire over time if they begin early enough, save consistently enough, and hold to their long-term vision of financial independence. In personal strategic planning, you should begin with a long-term view of your life as well. You should begin by practicing idealization in everything you do. In the process of idealization, you create a five-year fantasy for yourself and begin thinking about what your life would look like in five years if it were perfect in every respect. The biggest single obstacle to setting goals is self-limiting beliefs. These are areas where you believe yourself to be limited in some way, such as intelligence, ability, talent, creativity, personality, or something else. As a result, you sell yourself short by underestimating yourself. You set either no goals or low goals that are far below what you are truly capable of accomplishing. 
By combining idealization and future orientation, you cancel or neutralize this process of self-limitation. You imagine for the moment that you have no limitations at all. You imagine that all things are possible for you. Just like looking up into a clear blue sky with no limits, you project forward several years and imagine that your life is perfect in every respect sometime in the future. You then look back to where you are today and ask yourself this question. What would have to have happened for me to have created my perfect future? You then come back to where you are in the present moment and deal with what is possible for you within your current situation. Start with your business and career. Imagine that your work life was perfect five years from now. Answer these questions. 1. What would it look like? 2. What would you be doing? 3. Where would you be doing it? 4. Who would you be working with? 5. What level of responsibility would you have? 6. What kind of skills and abilities would you have? 7. What kind of goals would you be accomplishing? When you answer these questions, imagine that you have no limits. Imagine that everything is possible for you. Peter Drucker once said, We greatly overestimate what we can accomplish in one year, but we greatly underestimate what we can accomplish in five years. Don't let this happen to you. Now, idealize your perfect financial life sometime in the future. 1. How much do you want to be earning five years from today? 2. What sort of lifestyle do you want to have? What kind of home do you want to live in? 3. What kind of car do you want to drive? What kind of material luxuries do you want to provide for yourself and your family? 4. How much do you want to have in the bank? 5. How much do you want to be saving and investing each month and each year? 6. How much do you want to be worth when you retire? Imagine that you have a magic slate. You can write down anything you want. You can erase anything that may have happened in the past and create whatever picture you desire for your future. You have no limits. Look at your family and relationships today and project five years into the future. 1. If your family life were perfect five years from now, what would it look like? 2. Who would you be with? Who would you no longer be with? 3. Where and how would you be living? What kind of living standards would you have? 4. What kind of relationships would you have with the most important people in your life five years from now if everything were perfect in every respect? When you fantasize and imagine your perfect future, the only question you ask is, How? This is the most powerful question of all. Asking it repeatedly stimulates your creativity and triggers ideas to help you accomplish your goals. Unsuccessful people always wonder whether or not a particular goal is possible. High achievers, on the other hand, only ask the question, How? They then set to work to find ways to make their visions and goals into realities. Review your levels of health and fitness in every area. 1. If you were a perfect physical specimen five years from now, how would you look, feel, and appear? 2. What would be your ideal weight? 3. How much would you exercise each week? 4. What would be your overall level of health? 5. What changes would you have to start making today in your diet, exercise routines, and health habits to enjoy superb physical health sometime in the future? Then imagine that you are an important and influential person, a player in your community. You are making a significant contribution to the world around you. You are making a difference with your life and in the lives of other people. If your social and community status and involvement were ideal. 1. What would you be doing? 2. To what organizations would you be working with or contributing to? 3. What are the causes that you strongly believe in and support, and how could you become more involved in those areas? The primary difference between high achievers and low achievers is action orientation. Men and women who accomplish tremendous things in life are intensely action oriented. They are moving all the time. They are always busy. If they have an idea, they take action on it immediately. On the other hand, low achievers and non-achievers are full of good intentions, but they always have an excuse for not taking action today. It is well said that the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Examine yourself in terms of your personal inventory of skills, knowledge, talent, education, and ability. 1. What additional knowledge and skills would you have acquired five years from now? 2. In what areas would you be recognized as absolutely excellent in what you do? 3. What would you be doing each day in order to develop the knowledge and skills you need to be one of the top performers in your field sometime in the future? Once you have answered these questions, the only question you ask is, how? How do you attain the skills and expertise you will require to lead your field in the years ahead? Especially, decide how you would like to live day in and day out.
Design your perfect calendar from January 1st to December 31st. 1. What would you like to do? On your weekends and vacations? 2. How much time would you like to take off each week, month, and year? 3. Where would you like to go? 4. How would you organize your year if you had no limitations and complete control over your time? In the Bible, it says, where there is no vision, the people perish. What this means is that if you lack an exciting vision for your future, you will perish inside in terms of lacking motivation and enthusiasm for what you are doing. But the reverse of this is that with an exciting future vision, you will be continuously motivated and stimulated every day to take the actions necessary to make your ideal vision a reality. Remember that happiness is the progressive realization of a worthy ideal. If you have clear, exciting goals and ideals, you will feel happier about yourself and your world. You will be more positive and optimistic. You will be more cheerful and enthusiastic. You will feel internally motivated to get up and get going every morning because every step you are taking will be moving you in the direction of something that is important to you. Resolve to think about your ideal future most of the time. Remember, the very best days of your life lie ahead. The happiest moments you will ever experience are still to come. The highest income you will ever earn is going to materialize in the months and years ahead. The future is going to be better than anything that may have happened in your past. There are no limits. The clearer you can be about your long-term future, the more rapidly you will attract people and circumstances into your life to help make that future a reality. The greater clarity you have about who you are and what you want, the more you will achieve and the faster you will achieve it in every area of your life. Your thoughts and feelings about yourself and what you can do or not do are the sum total result of a lifetime of experience and conditioning, and usually have little relationship to what is truly possible for you. In personal development, there is a principle or a law of becoming that simply says that each person is in a continual process of evolving and growing in the direction of their dominant thoughts. Your body is also in a state of becoming, with a normal rate of cell death and replenishment. You essentially have a brand new body every seven years, whereas your physical evolution is affected by the food you consume. Your mental evolution and becoming are largely determined by the thoughts you feed your mind. The law of concentration says that anything you dwell upon grows in your reality. Thoughts you think about long enough and hard enough eventually become a part of your mental processes, exerting their influence and power on your attitude and behavior. If you constantly think thoughts of boldness, courage, and self-assertion, you become progressively bolder and more self-assured. Similarly, if you dwell on the person you would like to become with the qualities you aspire to have, you implant those deeply into your subconscious mind, where they become part of your ongoing evolution. What you habitually think about eventually becomes a part of your character and personality. You are essentially a self-made individual, shaped by the thoughts you have allowed to preoccupy your mind. However, for most people, thinking the thoughts they would like to think about to become the person they aspire to be is too big a leap. Many continue to think and talk about exactly what they don't want to happen, only to be constantly amazed when exactly what they were hoping to avoid happens to them again and again. One of the most profound discoveries in human history is that thought is creative. Thoughts held in mind produce after their kind, like baguettes like. Your thoughts become your realities. You become what you think about most of the time. You cannot harbor one kind of thought and experience a different kind of existence. This law of cause and effect works perfectly everywhere and always for everyone. Developing unshakable self-confidence begins with taking full, complete, systematic, and purposeful control over the contents of your conscious mind. Discipline yourself to think consistently about only the things that you desire and to resolutely keep your mind off the things that you fear. All of life is from the inside out. Your outer world will be a reflection of your inner world. True happiness and success come from living your life in harmony with the laws that govern your being, even though these laws are invisible. Just like the law of gravity, which is also invisible but to be violated only at your own peril. Happy people are those who obey and follow the laws of nature and live their lives consistent with those laws. If you want to enjoy self-confidence on the outside, you must practice complete integrity on the inside. The foundation of self-confidence is living your life consistent with your innermost values and principles, while thinking and acting in harmony with your highest aspirations. Men and women with the most rock-solid self-confidence are those who are absolutely clear about what they believe to be right and good and who live their lives consistent with these values. Your true values are only expressed in your actions. You can tell what you truly believe by observing what you do. 
especially in situations where you have to make a choice under stress. Your choices of actions tell you unerringly who you really are. This brings us to the little-known mental principle called the law of reversibility, which says that actions consistent with particular values or beliefs actually lead to the thoughts and feelings that would have triggered the actions. The keys to developing unshakable self-confidence are self-control, self-mastery, and self-discipline. Self-confidence can come directly by behaving in a self-confident manner, but it comes more often indirectly by doing and saying the things that lead to self-confidence. And the most important self-development behavior is living consistently with your highest values at every opportunity. Each time you do this, you will feel positive and happy about yourself, and your behaviors will further crystallize in your personality, making you an exceptional human being in the process of becoming.